Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. We are on the Paladin. We are in Motherload. It can mean only one thing. Yes, we are looking at some more LVUI. So let's dive straight into this. So I was asked in a comment section of a video previously, tell us about Global Fade, Grim. Tell us more about Global Fade. How you make the bars disappear and so on and forth. Because when I did my original series of LVUI, I didn't go into that in quite enough detail. I apologize for that. It has been on my mind to get it done. And then, lo and behold, Shadowlands dropped and just the chaos that ensues, it didn't get done. So, my apologies. We are going to look at Global Fade right now. Plus a few other cool bar features. So let's get into this. So it's going to come as no surprise. We're going to need to head into the LVUI menu. We're going to need to go to Action Bars and General. Now, we've covered a lot of the other features here in our LVUI guides. All of them are going to be down below in the description. But this one, we're just going to cover the Global Fade Transparency. What does it mean? Let's have a look. Now, this covers the transparency level when not in combat. You have no target that exists. You have full health. You're not casting. And there is no focus target existing. But what does that mean in practical terms? Well, basically, it means that, as you can see here, when I'm out of combat, my bars will disappear. When I have a target selected, but I'm not yet in combat, my bars will appear. Basically, when I am ready for action, my bars will appear. When I'm just walking around the world, they will disappear. Simple as that. That's literally all it means. It just keeps your bars really clean. As you're saying, cast concentrate, I could heal myself, whatever else. That wouldn't affect it. It's only going to trigger when literally I'm geared up, ready to get into combat. Now, you will see over on the side here, there is a slide bar. It is a slide of or a fade of transparency now if you have it at zero you're basically not going to hide when in combat but you could have it at 50 percent just so you know where all your bars are it's entirely up to you i just have it as 100 percent and go with it from there but let's get into the bars let's actually have a look to see how this works now you see these are all my bars that are selected and i have certain ones that are running on fade and some that aren't now, ones down the bottom, I just generally use for things I'm going to need to click on, whether it be quest items, mounts, whatever it may be. My combat ones, which you can see bar one, inherit the global fade, which is why those disappear and others don't. Now, I don't want to mess about and ruin the UI. So what we're going to do is we are going to select a brand new bar that I don't have active. And we're going to activate that. And we're going to see what sort of things we can now do. How can we manipulate this to best benefit us and what sort of different results can we get so if we decide we're going to jump down i think i don't use i'm trying to remember now which one i don't use let's go like nine nine and ten i don't tend to use so let's activate bar nine there we go right in the middle of the screen and it's got some really weird and wonderful things on fine whatever that's fine we don't use this at all so we can mess about with this as much as we want so ignoring the fact that bar nine is now right in the middle of our screen at the moment, it has the same properties as our, what I call my utility bars, the ones that have my mounts and such and such on. What I want it to do is have the same as my combat ability bars, which means it's going to inherit the global fade. So if we switch that on, you can now see when I select the target, when I mouse over, when I do various things, then it's going to inherit that global properties and it's going to be exactly the same as my action bar. So at the moment, it's going to appear. If I was to click off the target, then those bars would disappear. But let's have a look at some of the other toys that are available to us here. Now, we will talk about mouse over in due course, but we're going to have a quick look down at alpha. Alpha basically is going to allow us to have transparent. We can go all the way to it's basically invisible to 50% up to 100%. So you can obviously disappear it. Now, I will say a lot of people try and do this so they can hide their action bars. We're going to, we're going to go for a far better way to do that in a minute. I just want to show you that alpha exists. You can have faded bars. Whatever reason, if you preferred it for appearances or whatever else but we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that what you will see a lot of the pros have is they will have their action bars way up in the top left hand corner of their screen and they will literally just every now and again drag a button onto it and but that's it you'll never see it won't appear in combat or anything else that is mouse over literally only if we mouse over that bar will that button appear so what they'll have is they'll use weak or as tell me when whatever it may be that will show them when abilities are on cooldown and we'll get onto that in another video. But realistically, they're only going to use that bar when they're dragging something onto it. Other than that, they won't see it. Now, mouse over is great if you are really comfortable with your class or you've got a really good weak aura setup that shows you exactly when all your abilities are ready to go. I don't even have that because I'm just not comfortable enough to be without it. Uh, but 
as you can see we're just going to drag that up there there are other uses though to having a mouse over to keep a clean ui and this is how i use it and that is to rather than have all my abilities up here and literally just dragging on or dragging off of them as i see fit instead what i do is i actually have a professions bar that just disappears if i don't need it so what we're going to do is we are actually going to create we're going to activate bar number 10 and then we are going to create our very own little money professions bar just to show you all the different tools that we've kind of been learning up until now we're going to put them into practice and show you guys how to just create a little mouse over bar that might be helpful so if we go to bar 10 we enable it now this is we don't need this let's get rid of all these things we don't need all of this and we don't need a huge bar that's ridiculously long in fact we're going to probably want it as a single column rather than this big long so let us reduce the buttons down to say five five should be all good there we go buttons per row yeah we're not going to need that many we're just going to want singular there duh, 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 duh. there we go okay so next we're going to need to toggle the anchors we're going to need to unlock this and we're going to need to drag it down if we go over here yeah that should do it we're going to lock that so all we do all we're doing is literally having it so that we can place our different professions on that list and the most important thing is going to be we want it to hide when we are not mouse over on that particular bar. Now, I suppose if we're going to do this properly, we should really go to our book. We should grab our professions and we should throw them on. Yeah, <clears throat> please try and ignore the fact that I haven't actually maxed out my Zandalara stuff at the moment. I know, I know. I've been lazy on the Paladin. Hopefully, in Shadowlands, Paladins are really good, so we might be playing a little bit more. We put the ones down. I'm not putting Archaeology on there. No, don't judge me, but I'm not putting it on there. So we've got our professions on there. Next thing we need to do is we need to activate our mouse over. So if we just click mouse over, you will see that bar will da -da -da -da, disappear. Nice and clean. Can't see it, but I know it's there. And now if I ever need my professions, I just hover over it and I can just click on them as needed. And that bar will just disappear again. It's a nice and simple way of just showing you guys how you can use mouse overs, use the fade. So I've got my combat abilities in the middle of the screen using the global fade. This bar is not inheriting the global fade. Instead, it is using a mouse over. And that is it, ladies and gents. That is a nice, simple look at how to manipulate your action bars very different ways. Using global fade, using mouse over, using the alpha, and whatever else. We haven't gone too much into depth. We haven't gone too crazy. It's just a quick look. I will say, if you're going to play about this yourself, you're not entirely confident, you don't, you've spent ages making that crisp, crisp UI, you don't want to mess it up, just drop down into your LV UI, go to profiles, go to copy from, copy your current profile, save it as something else, and then you can play about to your heart's content without worrying that you're going to overwrite all your hard work. Apart from that, enjoy, we are going to go into some more detail. Uh, we'll obviously still be talking about Shadowland stuff, but I want to make sure we've got our LVUI Chronicles all done and dusted because now is the time to start making your sweet new UI. Yeah, for Shadowlands. So that has been done, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy. Any questions, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.